everyone she was cuddly tikvana still self-quarantined during the coronavirus crisis but i honestly don't mind that because i have such cuddly characters around me and the greatest lion king that ever lived so today we are going to look at one of the most uh, beautiful, most perfect Lion King plushies that ever released in my own opinion. This is, this is the line from the Disney Store from 2011 when the Blu-ray first released of the animated classic which looked like this. And to celebrate that Blu-ray release the Disney Store has said created an entire line of plushies of which I have the lions only here. Uh, they did release a couple more such as all of the three hyenas and some more pride land uh, friends such as a zebra, elephant and giraffe. And of course there was also a Rafiki, Timon and Pumba. But to keep this video short we are looking at the lions only and this is what I have only anyway so as you can see here there was a bunch of 18 inch plushies 18 inches tall around 46 centimeters and these included adult Simba, adult Nala and Scar and the crown jewel of the entire collection was this 34 inches Tampa Mufasa, which truly is, uh, it's not only the greatest Lion King that ever lived, but also one of the largest Lion King plushies uh, ever made, and pretty much the largest that, uh, that ever sold at the Disney store. He is so perfect for hugs and cuddles. Oh. But um, first, um, let us look at my uh, favorite from the 18 inch line and that's definitely Nala. Um, I remember very well when I got her uh, uh, in person in the US at a Disney store. She is so so perfect and so super 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 cuddly. I remember when I got her I didn't put her down for an entire hour because she's so incredibly squishy and huggable. She's just the perfect size to carry around uh, with and uh, still the size allows for big cuddles and hugs. So the 18 inches is just a perfect size for plushies. It allows for a lot of details, yet it is still compact enough to carry it around, but big enough to throw it around and uh, to show everyone how awesome these plushies look like. Take a look at her face. We have wonderful details such as a cute smile and embroidered eyes here with the accurate uh, movie accurate uh, coloring as uh, uh, yellow, green and black. And her face really is super accurate. See her pink nose and her, her ears, the ears aren't stuffed but that is fine. And look at her, I think even the proportions are, are quite accurate on her and the most important thing for a plushie collector is down here you can see uh, the 2011 uh, plushies still had the Disney Store packed underneath their, one of their paws stitched on and here's the tags. The, all of these plushies have the very same tags. Um, these plushies came from China. Later on uh, Disney Store also uh, contracted a vendor in uh, Vietnam. And of course this plus is feed for the super super awesome plus Disney Store plus quality. It's a very special plus. Some say that they have um, degraded in quality uh, a bit over time, but uh, 
actually I'm still uh, pretty happy with uh, most of the Disney Store plushies and the 2011 line of the Lion King plushies was certainly, certainly uh, one of their all-time highlights. An all-time highlight for any Lion King fan. And so is Nala. He's super adorable. And what I also should mention is that they are weighted a little bit. They've got some kind of uh, pellets in here. Uh, it's it's not like sand, but uh, some somewhat similar that um, allow them to sit. And if they don't sit, slap on their back a little bit. And they will sit upright just fine. Uh, her tail isn't stuffed. That's a bit of uh, that's a bit of a minus point. I uh, would have loved if they would have uh, stuffed their tails also. But anyway, I do think this is a super perfect class. It's actually in the top five of my all-time. Uh, uh, favorite Lion King plushies and it is my favorite Nala plus ever. So super super adorable Nala. And then we take a look at adult Simba and for him I'm not so sure about his face. Uh, if we put him together with Mufasa, it looks like they took, uh, kind of took uh, Mufasa's eyes and and his face doesn't uh, actually look like any of the Lion King lions. It's kind of a weird mix. Uh, uh, it looks like a younger Mufasa, uh, but not really an adult Simba. So, So I'm a bit torn on this uh, plushie. It is stuffed a little bit harder than Nala is. Uh, the mane is actually quite nice. I would recommend you that you brush these manes every now and then to keep them nice and free of dust. Uh, other than that, this is a nice plushie as well. Uh, same plus quality, of course, like Nala. Super great, and he, he sits very well. He's got uh, pellets in his back as well, on the lower part of his back. The tail isn't stuffed either. And he does have the Disney Store uh, path underneath his uh, rear left paw. And the tags are the same like on Nala. So this is Adult Simba. It feels pretty big, but it's actually the same 18 inch size. It's just stuffed a little bit harder. Um, yeah, so I wouldn't call this my favorite adult Simba plushie ever. I think the applause plushie that I presented you in an earlier episode of Kitwana's Toys is better than him, uh, mainly because of the face. But other than that, the quality is, is very nice. This is what, uh, what you're used to from the Disney store. So, and with that being said, where Simba is, Scar can't be far away either. And so let's take a look on Scar. He's the, I know that he is the favorite of so many uh, Lion King fan colleagues that I have and they, you know that they re that the Disney Store re-released a Scar Plushie but uh, slightly smaller at 14 inches a couple of years uh, later. This is the more rare 18 inches version as said from 2011 celebrating the Blu-ray release. Again we have beautiful details on his face, uh, embroidered eyes, and that little beard here on his chin. 
And of course, the most important part, take a look here, across his left eye is his scar, his pink scar that is embroidered as well. Uh, it's pretty, it's a bit small, but uh, you can still see, see it very well. Um, the mane was pretty wild, so it was a bit hard to tame, but, but uh, I brushed it and but, uh, probably supposed to be wild because it is scar. Yet still, I wanted to get the dust and dirt out that uh, uh, can accumulate over time. Um, we take a look at his paws. He's got his claws out on all of the paws. And uh, the, these tend to cut uh, dust over time because it's like a, a felt-like uh, material. That's, uh, this is pretty rough, but... Uh, uh, again, if you take good care of your plastic, this won't be a big problem. Uh, here's the uh, under, uh, underside of his paws as well. He's got the Disney Store pads and of course again the same tags and the pellets are in his body as well. The lower part that allow him to sit. If he doesn't... There we go. Uh, again, the tail is and stuff as well, but still, I think this is one of the better scar plasmids that released since 1994. It's definitely a must-have. Uh, becoming uh, hard to find, even on eBay. Uh, back at the time, I remember they were either 19 or 29 at the Disney store. There are definitely more today. Uh, the, the value has increased to at least uh, double or even more from what I have seen on eBay. So if you can get one for less than 50, then you uh, you did a very good deal. You can see his ears are visible. Okay, this is a wonderful score plus. And even score needs some hugs every now and then. He's a big old softy. And now we take a look at the king, the one and only Lion King, the true Lion King, Mufasa. Um, he was sold as Sambo Mufasa online. Uh, they did sell him in uh, 2011 together with the other plus. He's, uh, and he sold out uh, pretty quickly. And then uh, about uh, two or three times more, they, more, they re-released him online. And uh, I think that went into uh, 2012, but since then he is sold out and a highly, highly sought collectible. Uh, he's worth a couple uh, hundred dollars. I uh, saw him uh, beginning at around uh, 300 uh, up to over $500 on eBay and he is really worth it. The, um, the original retail size for him I remember exactly was uh, $99.99 and it just was an awesome feeling to pick him up, up at the Disney store and walk out with such a big, big Lion King. I mean, Mufasa, Mufasa is the daddy that we always wished to have, super caring and wise and super huggable, of course. Let's take a look at him, uh, beautiful uh, embroidered details on his face, and I think they got his face um, very, very accurate. I would say this is the best Mufasa Plathy that ever released from any toy company. Uh, the eyes are, are super accurate. I love his smile. And in general, the face looks really, really very nice. The mane is accurate. It's got the accurate coloring. It's super soft. Again, I advise you to brush it every now and then, especially when you cuddle with him a lot. Uh, he's got his ears visible and let's a look at his paws and as with all of the other plushies, uh, 
and here is a big Disney store pad and it's got his tags as well here which are exactly the same like on the other platforms. And he sometimes tails and stuff too. He sometimes has trouble standing. So again, I advise you to make sure that the pellets in his back are as low as possible. And we definitely should have stuffed his front legs way more. So yeah, it's very really difficult for him to stand even after a couple of years. So I uh, would advise you to prop it against a wall or to uh, put something underneath his belly that um, holds him upright. That's too bad. He definitely could have done a better job with the front legs. Actually, the the whole fluffy is rather hard, but I would say it's just right for a plus of that size. It's just the front legs that lack the stuffing, but if you are very talented, you could uh, add some stuffing pretty easily, I'm sure. But other than that, this is a super, super perfect Lion King plus. It's, one, it's really one of the must haves. If you have a Lion King collection, uh, you can you definitely have to find and add him. It's gotten pretty rare, although over the last uh, few years on eBay, but every now and then one pops up and uh, then you have a chance to pounce on it. So, so that was it for today's episode of Kidwano's Toys. As always, let me know in the comments uh, if you have any uh, questions or comments about this plus this. I would uh, love to hear from you if you remember that great time in 2011 as well uh, when the Lion King franchise uh, picked up again after many years of quietness and there was a lot uh, there was lots of new merchandise and uh, I would love to hear from you if you remember uh, picking these plushies up from the Disney store and with that being said I'll see you on the next episode of Kitwana's Toys I'm trying to uh, release one uh, every weekend for you now that we are all quarantined and could use some entertainment so I'll see you real soon on another episode. Goodbye.